Hey guys, Delta Knuckin here, and we got Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. I took a day to analyze this and put it out instead of rushing it out like some guys because you do miss a lot of things. I made that mistake with Black Ops last year. And uh, as I alluded to there, we are going to be doing analysis of the trailer. Uh, this is going to be a long video because I've got everything down to slow motion this time. Another mistake I made. Anyways, let's uh, let's hop into this. And remember, if I missed anything and you notice it, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll add it in with an annotation. Alright, so we're going to start off here in uh, America. you got the three, just because that's a common theme, obviously, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, starting off, first thing you're going to see here is the Freedom Tower. Uh, is fully completed. That is what is being built to replace the World Trade Centers in New York. So you can see this is obviously a few years down the road. I believe it's in the 2020s. Uh, next thing you're seeing here, that's the New York Stock Exchange building. Uh, so, you know, more showing that you are in New York. Uh, you see the M4A1 appearing right there. Obviously, it's back. And that is the new dual scope attachment. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but that was, uh, appeared to be a holographic site, the EOTech and uh, an ACOG scope. Uh, just showing some more uh, of the battling going on in New York there and some uh, rockets being launched by, I'm guessing, Russian submarines. Moving on to England and we're gonna get a shot of the MP5 here, the new version of the MP5. This one's with a suppressor. Next you're gonna see it with the EOTech holographic sight. Um, showing some more clips and we're gonna get into the subway next I believe and uh, it looks like some Russian soldiers are defending that for whatever reason I think that's the player character right there because we're gonna get a first person shot of their view and uh, now we're gonna get this nice set piece e crash explosion of this subway just getting destroyed uh, that could be a pretty epic moment in the campaign I, I suspect it's a pretty pivotal point it as well uh, next we are moving on to France and I uh, Get ready to make some jokes about the French, about the French not, uh, you know, not being able to win wars because we got American soldiers here, as you're going to see in this clip, uh, by the patch on his arm. These guys are using the M4A1, and uh, just moving around here. This now, this is going to look weird. This is just a grenade being thrown back, but it creates some weird fiery effect. Uh, right there, you can see the FAMAS. Uh, you're going to get a better shot of that in a second to fully confirm that it's back. Uh, I had to look at that clip for a little while. You're seeing a, a strip mall getting wasted, some soldiers lying down. There's the FAMAS, a clearer shot, so you know it is back. Uh, showing uh, another set piece moment. Uh, looks like the campaign's going to be full of these going through uh, France and getting attacked by a chopper. Uh, moving on to Germany, we're going to get a, a landmark here I was unable to identify. If you know what that is, please let me know in the annotations. Uh, a, a nice rappling sequence similar to Black Ops, and that is the A-10 Thunderbolt, a.k.a. the Tank Killer. I would be shocked if this is not a kill streak in the multiplayer. It's something that I know a lot of people have been asking for for a long time. And if it is in the multiplayer as a kill streak, I would suspect there would be tanks as well. Uh, next, you're seeing some buildings being destroyed, and that looks pretty awesome. Uh, there's some rumors that Modern Warfare 3 is going to have destructible environments, whether that's in multiplayer as well. Who knows, but that seems to uh, lend some credibility to the rumors. Uh, back in New York, you can see the New York Stock Exchange is going to be part of a, uh, a mission. Not just uh, a random cutscene or something like that, because uh, the soldiers are heading in. Uh, next thing you're going to see is these guys have the RPD light machine gun, so we can confirm that gun is back. This is a variant of the AK assault rifle. I can't be sure which from that shot, but I believe it's the AK-47, because this shot seems to suggest it looks pretty much like an AK-47, but I could be uh, I could be wrong. Uh, the next shot is probably the most interesting for me, because as unlikely and unbelievable as it would be, this guy that is coming out of the wreckage of the subway looks a lot like Ghost from Modern Warfare 2. I'll just let you look at that. That does look a lot like him. It could be someone else. I could be completely wrong, but I'm just I'm looking at that, and uh, whether he's somehow still alive or there is... Uh, a single prequel mission instead of a whole prequel game, like rumored. Uh, who knows? Uh, we're back, just getting a lot of various scenes of war here. You can see the UMP-45 complete with a suppressor there. Another shot of the UMP, so we know that gun is going to be back. That was a huge favorite among people, if not <laughs> slightly overpowered. Uh, an underwater mission here, and this is, it looks like New York, part of New York is going to be submerged, because this is just a tunnel. You can see the cars. Uh, we got some AC-130 action. I can't. I think that's France. It might be Germany, just because of the color scheme. I can't really tell. 
um, some Black Ops style chopper gunner here. I won't be. I'd be shocked if the multiplayer chopper gunner was not the same as that. Now this character is moving exactly the same as Captain Price in the final level of Modern Warfare 2, which I thought was interesting. Uh, so another similar level to that, probably one of the final in the game. Um, car getting flipped, set piece. Enough said. Uh, and New York being destroyed by war, and that does it for my analysis of the trailer. Uh, we're going to get a little World War 3 flipping to Modern Warfare 3. The game's going to be out on November 8th. I'll be posting gameplays, crazy stuff like that, so look forward to it. Comment, like, subscribe, favorite, and I'll talk to you guys later.